Well, time now is 617, and Todd, I feel like that nice weather was building us up for some <laughs> stormy weather now. Uh, you know, the middle of the week was great. You know, some people even said, oh, I had a fall-like feel with the cooler temperatures and the breeze and the clouds that were around. Uh, but we're right back into the thick of a very summer-like pattern that starts really uh, today and goes all the way uh, into next week with warmth and the chance of storms. Periods of rain today. An isolated strong to severe storm is possible today. It will not be as numerous or widespread as they were uh, last Friday. Friday when we had the hail and uh, even a couple isolated tornadoes. The biggest threat not only today but going through the weekend is going to be the potential for localized flooding. We're getting into, as I mentioned, a very summer-like pattern. It's going to have that very tropical-like feel with the higher humidity levels. And even when we mix in some sunshine over the coming days, because it's not going to be a complete washout each and every day, I don't want you to cancel any plans, but the more sun we see, the more downpours we'll start to have across parts of the area, especially tomorrow. We have a line of showers and storms right now from Monticello pushing into Lafayette. You notice the lightning strikes here. Uh, this storm is not severe, though, although it's a little bit of a loud uh, morning for you there in uh, western Tippecanoe County. Some heavier rain down towards Vetersburg. And this is moving off uh, slightly towards the east-northeast, and that's going to put it into the Flora area here around 634 and then up in uh, the Culver area as we get a little closer to the 7 o'clock hour. Otherwise, the only rain we have are a few downpours here now uh, from just just west of Rushville up towards uh, the Newcastle and the Knightstown area, and that's just about it. But there is a lot more rain off to our west. This has been weakening, as you see, coming towards us uh, over the past couple hours, and this is sinking to the south. But radar is going to look a lot like this in the coming days, where there's going to be waves of rain moving through in between a lot of dry hours, even some sunshine mixed in at times, especially for your Saturday and Sunday. I think today's probably the day where there's more in the way of widespread cloud cover and the showers are a little more new numerous uh, today, uh, but obviously not a washout. The one little window will be this afternoon for the potential of some strong to severe storms uh, that'll be across uh, the area. Wind would be the main threat, but can't completely rule out the chance of an isolated tornado, but that goes through, and here we are at 430, and look how things kind of quiet down. Rain's never coming out of the forecast today, uh, but again, there'll be some dry hours mixed in, especially in southern locations. The further north you are, not only today, but tomorrow as well, as TrueCast runs into Saturday here as well. That'll be the better potential of seeing some of these showers and storms. But here we are 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Clouds will break into some sunshine. Once we get into sunshine, more storms will flare up. And so it's just one of those weekends where I wish I could tell you, all right, here's your two hour window where it's going to rain and then the rest of the day is going to be sunny. It's just not that case. A lot of it is going to be dependent on what happens in the morning to what we'll see in the afternoon. The more sunshine we see, the better potential for pop up storms. If it stays kind of cloudy, uh, then your threat of storms is kind of going to diminish. I think the thing you need to take from this forecast is there is a potential for rain this weekend. It's kind of feast or famine when it rains, it'll come down pretty hard. And that's why you see these rainfall totals in the one to two inch range in some uh, locations. Uh, but again, there are a lot of dry hours mixed in throughout the course of the day today. Now tomorrow it's warm, it's muggy, same for Sunday with highs right around 88. And then we keep the highs in the 80s next week with the daily chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lauren.